Hi everybody. You're probably wondering why I have a duck. Well, he's cute and I just wanted to pet him. But what I'm going to do today is we're going to go over the different type of tungstens that you can use for TIG welding. Now I could just sit here and talk to you guys about which ones to use when according to this little chart that we have here. But instead of doing that, I figured it would be a good opportunity to just try them. So I'm going to try on a piece of stainless steel exhaust tubing. And we're going to try a bunch of different types. So we have, we have here 1.5% lanthanated, 2% serrated, 2% lanthanated, and one of the most common ones, 2% thoriated. I'm going to go over the benefits of each, their characteristics, what they may be used for other than stainless, and um, we're just going to compare them all and see how they do one by one. So the machine that I'm going to use today is the Yes Welder YWM 211P, same machine that I've been using in the last couple of videos. This thing is set up for a lift TIG start. It is not a high frequency, this, so this might end up playing into the differences between all of these tungstens. But I wanted to do this to see how well they are for a start because lift TIG can sometimes be a little tricky depending on what the tungsten you're using. So the first one we're going to start with is the 2% thorate, the good old red one. It can be used for pretty much any alloy you can take well. Um, it's usually, uh, according to this little chart that Yes Water has here, best stability at medium currents good arc starts, medium tendency to spit and spatter, and a medium erosion rate. So these should last longer than some of the others. This is typically my go-to because I can do a little bit of everything with it. So we're going to start off with this one since I know it the best and continue on from there. So I'm going to grind all of these at as close to the same angle as I can. So as soon as I start the arc, it swirls a little bit, and then it goes right into a direct current, or goes right into a direct arc. Stays nice and smooth. You can tell I'm getting oxidization almost right away though. Uh, at the start I was okay, but at the end, it started heating up on me. So in reality, I could probably turn myself down a little bit from 37 amps down to probably 35, maybe even a little bit less than that. Um, all in all, if I wanted to play with the settings a little bit and get it right, I feel like I could do pretty good. But for demonstration purposes, I think we're doing well. That's 2% thoriated. And the tungsten stayed pretty nice and sharp, too. It's not focusing very well. But. So now, what we're going to do, back in its little container here, grab out the 2% lanthanated blue. It has the lowest erosion rate, at least on stainless steels, uh, highest current range on DC, no spitting, and best DC arc starts and stability. So we're going to find out just how well this does. Oh, Off the tungsten, it's gone and it's gone up at the tip, at the tip a little bit. Not the best experience in the world, not as much oxidization on the weld, still some there, but I can't get over the spitting and the swirling. That did not go great. And I lost the tip on my tungsten. 
starts smoking at me. So that was a little strange. Let's step it down to one and a half percent lanthanide. This is the yellow. And this says lowest erosion rate, highest current range, no spitting, best DC arc starts and stability. And it also recommends helium. Well, I got a on, so that's what we're doing. So it got steady real quick. I'm actually coming up to a little bit of a gap. And it's actually staying really nice. Smooth and buttery. Oh, yeah. That went way better. And I got beautiful color out of that. Very minimal oxidization. Oh, I'm very happy with that. That was 1.5% lanthanate. So that little bit of a difference between the 2% and 1.5% made all the difference here. Art got steady right away. Tungsten didn't ball up. It stayed nice and sharp. No smoking or anything weird. It makes me feel a whole lot better, too. Now we are going to go to 2% seriated. According to this little chart here, it has a very low erosion rate, so you don't consume it as much. It has a very wide current range. No spitting or spatter, very consistent arc starts, and good stability, just like the rest of them. Now this is the one that I've been told by many people, this is the one to use on stainless. So we're going to find that out right now. Fuck that up. So the tungsten has flattened out a little bit, but it's still staying good. And dead stable out. Oh my god. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to go in order. 2% thoriated. Worked out okay. Um, my initial start, it did some swirling to try and find its spot, but once it found its spot, it stayed there pretty well. It did start hunting back and forth between the two pieces a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I'm pretty used to it because that's what I've used for some of the little fabrication stuff that I do. The 2% lanthanated really didn't work very well at all. Um, as soon as I started going, it got pretty stable. But then it started smoking and picking up stuff, and it just really, it just didn't like it. The 1.5% lanthanated, however, I was very surprised. It was very stable, found an arc super quickly, and the tungsten didn't just seem to be bothered at all. All the other tungstens previous to that, the 2% thoriated and the 2% lanthanated both, they discolored, grayed out a little bit. It's quite surprising. And then, of course, we get to the 2% seriated, which everybody says is the go-to. That worked just as well, if not maybe a little better than the 1.5% lanthanated. Um, least amount of oxidization. I kind of screwed up the start a little bit. I got it stuck. But even so... I got it stuck and I pulled it off and it just went right into the arc and didn't have any issues. If you tried, to, if I stuck like I did with the 2% thoriated, it would be a mess. I'd have to regrind it. But the seriated, it didn't seem to bother it too much. Comparing those four together, if I was to pick one for a job, for a job like stainless steel exhaust tubing like this, it would be between the 1.5% lanthanated and the 2% seriated. You know, I think I would go with the 2% seriated. 
However, I wouldn't be upset with the yellow one either. The yellow one performed beautifully. Uh, I was actually surprised by it. Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it was a nice little experiment to show everybody the differences between the, all the tungstens and how they perform or don't perform. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down to explain why you use the tungsten that you use. And um, I'll see you on the next one.